Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is a double Z card, and I am featuring it with the springtime foil, which is a celebration item, but it was inspired by this card created by Kim Baker, a member of my downline, for a recent challenge that I did. So I want to show you what I created from this card. We're going to um, start out with a piece of old olive. This measures four and a quarter by 11, and we are going to score it at the two and three quarter mark, and at the five and a half. And then we have two pieces of that springtime foil. Now I have already gone through and colored all of my foil pieces and cut them. I did a video um, about a week ago on how to color on this paper and get um, this technique. Um, I just love the look of that foil. This foil you can get free with a $50 order um, during celebration. And so what I have here, I have two pieces. These measures three quarter inches by 11 and I have already scored them at the two and three quarter and five and a half inch mark. So I'm just going to bring those in and we are going to then um, create our card and so what I'm going to do is I want this to be like so. Okay, but first I want to assemble my paper. Now I have um, a piece of four inch by five and a quarter and we are going to put that on the five and a half side of um, my card. So we're going to lay that right in there and then I have two pieces that are two and a half by four and we are going to layer those in here like so. So I've got my first Z then what we're going to do is we are going to attach this and I see I should have put that underneath my paper. So we're just going to pull that up and put this right underneath here and I want that to go right up to the edge. And we're going to, then I am going to add my adhesive on this side. And put that right up to the edge over here. So I've got my fold like so. Let's see if I can pull this edge up. And add some more adhesive and add that other piece right under there. I should have done that Z first. I'm going to flip this over, add adhesive on this side. I am so in love with the springtime um, paper. So I've got that. Now I need to add my grids and I have taken two pieces and these measure three quarters of an inch by three quarter and I scored at a quarter of an inch on each side and I'm going to bring in glue dots. I like to use the glue dots when I'm using um, my grid. For grids I just think that they work um, better and I am going to put that right up against the 
that Z. Now I could put it all the way to the bottom. Make sure they're straight. Um, I did not. I, I put it about, mm, I don't know, an inch up. I'm going to do the same at the top. Adding my glue dots. Again, I scored the edge at a quarter of an inch, and I will have all these measurements over in my blog, stampingwithlinda.com. And we're going to add those grids right about there. And now what I have taken is three pieces. These are four and a quarter by a quarter. And I'm going to just add them for the little um, bamboo. for my panda to be on. I'm going to stagger them so you can see them well. Got those. And then I'm also going to put one out here on this side. Now I'm ready to decorate. I have already um, stamped my party pandas and um, have cut them out. I'm going to use a dimensional, oops, pull off all my dimensionals here. I'm going to use a dimensional for the one in the front with a balloon. And I have already taken, if you watched my video before, um, again from last week, I have already taken and stamped on the back side of the striped foil from the springtime uh, foil and used my blends to color my balloons so that I continue with that foil look. Add a yellow one here. And going to add it right on top for that balloon. Isn't that pretty? Going to put my panda, my party panda. I am going to just take my glue dot and put it right on my brace so that I make sure I have the panda where I want him. Got that going to add the other panda on the side here. Again, adding that glue dot. Right to the brace. And what I have done is I have taken those leaves and have cut them out um, so that I can then put them on my supports and I've got several of them here. I'm going to just use the glue dots so that it adds some dimension to that card. If you have not got this springtime um, foil paper. You really need to get it. I mean, it is gorgeous and the fact is that it is during a special so it's why supplies last. So see how those leaves go back and forth. So you want to get it before um, it's gone. I see I have another leaf here so I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on that and get that on my panda. So there you have a double Z fold using two of the celebration items that you can get for $50 orders. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.